Common Sense Ecology. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 522. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our March 26th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is common sense ecology. And uh, everything you see happening in the background of this video is the foundations of common sense ecology that we are developing, open source and free shared foundations. And our definition of common sense ecology is recognizing that we are part of the ecology of the planet. That ecology is not something that's separate from us, and not only are we part of it, but that we're a keystone species capable of stewarding this planet and creating a world that works for everybody, and in so doing, benefiting all people and all life on this planet. You know, and in the most radical and amazing and wonderful and beautiful and supportive sense of that, it's about creating self-maintaining ecological systems with people as the managers and creators of those systems. And so one community is building the foundations of that. We're building the open source and free shared foundations for a sustainable civilization. And those foundations are split into two different categories. There's the physical foundations and there's the emotional foundations. And the physical foundations are the foundations that everybody knows about and thinks about when you say sustainability. They're food, grown without toxins and poisons and locally grown fresh food, more diverse than what you can get in the grocery store. They're sustainable and regenerative, uh, sustainable and uh, regenerative, sustainable energy infrastructure, housing, sustainable housing infrastructure that's also built without toxic materials, uh, artistic, beautiful and DIY in our case, open source uh, housing infrastructure, but then there's also the emotional foundations. So you have food, energy, and housing as the physical foundations, and then you have the equally and possibly even more important emotional foundations of sustainability, which when we talk about common sense ecology, common sense ecology means combining all these things. It's about taking the physical foundations, but recognizing that there is an emotional component to the human living experience that is more important. Once you meet these physical foundations, I don't want to say it's more important because it's not fair. You know, for people that haven't met these physical foundations, this is everything. And we want to open source and free share that so that those things are taken care of for people. You know, especially the people that are most in need of this around the world. You know, that don't have access to enough food. You know, let's build sustainable food systems, you know, that, that are self-maintaining food systems. Let's build energy infrastructure that eliminates the, the, the cost of energy bills for people in developed countries, but let's build energy infrastructure for people that don't have energy infrastructure. You know, let's build housing that is beautiful and artistic in developed nations and people look at it and go, wow, look at how creative and wonderful that is. But let's also build housing that addresses homelessness. Let's build housing that is DIY replicable in the, the most depressed economies you know, that is built from the earth, you know, earth bag construction is built from earth, literally with stabilizer, stabilizer added to it. And these structures will stand for hundreds of years. You know, let's, let's build that. And then let's add to that. Once we address those foundations, and for us, while we simultaneously address those foundations, let's address the emotional foundations as well, which we've identified as and call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, and true earth stewardship, like stewarding our planet and, and specific step-by-step -step instructions for how to do that and how to maintain our environment. So 
for us, this common sense ecology is about putting all these things together, the physical foundations and providing them in an open source and free shared way so that people that need those physical foundations addressed the most can and combining those with the emotional foundations so that we can demonstrate a model that is so much better than the way that people are living right now that people will be motivated to create this around the world to improve their lives. And if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. But what's most important here is about creating a self-maintaining ecological system managed by humanity and provided as an open source and free shared option for people all over the world to be able to replicate as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration model designed to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs, communities, villages, and cities as well. And that's what one community is about. It's about that. It's about demonstrating what happens when we put this all in one place and we create a place where people from around the world can come together work in cooperation and collaboration to address the most challenging issues of our generation and generations to come and to demonstrate that, hey, common sense ecology is about creating a world that works for everybody. That's common sense. That we are only as strong as the weakest among us. That when we have people starving to death on this planet, when we throw away enough food annually to feed the entire planet, that's not common sense. That's not common sense. You know, when we spray our food with common poisons, with herbicides, fungicides, and pesticides, that they're wearing hazmat suits to spray on our food, and we sell that in grocery stores and we eat it, that's not common sense. Common sense ecology is that if we're capable of not doing that, we should do better, and we are capable of doing better. And so one community is looking at that and saying, okay, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't make sense to build houses that cause cancer. That doesn't make sense. That's not common sense ecology. You know? And so we're addressing all of these things, and we're doing it with an approach that we call for the highest good of all people in life on this planet, the highest good living. And, we, and so we call it, you know, highest good food, highest good energy, highest good housing, highest good society, you know, highest good education, highest good economics. And then for the highest good of all is that, that truer stewardship component. We're looking at how do we do what is in the highest good of all people in life on this planet and how do we open source and free share all of this so it can be replicated as either the individual components where just this is needed as a foundation first but more importantly, moving to the place where everybody has access to this complete idea, the open source education, the, the resource-based economy, the ultimate expression, the economic model, you know, and the stewardship and the ecology idea that we can be global stewards and common sense ecology is something that everybody can apply in their lives if we can meet these foundational, uh, these necessary foundations for survival and provide such abundance that people then have everything that they need for themselves so that they then can give to others. And so this is the big picture of one community, common sense ecology, you know, self-maintaining ecological systems that, you know, humanity, once we build them, and like you think about, well, well how is a house self-maintaining? Well, when you build a house that can last 500 years, that's self-maintaining, you know? When you build a food forest that once it's up and running will self-propagate and self-maintain and you just harvest the food from it, that's self-maintaining. That's building a self-sustaining ecosystem that didn't exist. That's building habitat. That's increasing biodiversity. This is the kinds of systems that we're creating and what humanity is capable of. And we want to apply this to all aspects of living. So... This is what One Community is up, up to. We're an all-volunteer, non-profit, non-governmental organization creating this because we want to live this way, because we want to provide it as an option for people to live anywhere in the world. And um, yeah, so if you'd like to help, visit our helping page. If you'd like to see what uh, we've done in the last week, what every one of our volunteers has accomplished in the last week, visit our blog, our written blog, our companion blog that goes along with this video. Uh, if you'd like to see all the open source content and the results of tens of thousands of hours of volunteer labor that have gone into creating these foundations for common sense ecology and a world that works for everybody, visit our website. You know, and um, you know, if you'd like a weekly dose 
of positivity, visit our website and subscribe, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring that bell, but visit our website and subscribe to our, our email list and you'll get a, an email, one email a week that shares our written blog and these videos. And uh, yeah, continue to watch, tune in every week and listen to me talk about how it's possible to create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime and how we're specifically creating the very detailed step by step by step by step plans, exactly what's needed to do that. So this is where we're up to. Stick around for another couple of minutes for bullet points and all the major components of our project. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.